a full face tutorial for you guys and I actually demonstrated my cover effects cover drops because I know some of y'all did want to see that. I mixed it with my Kat Von D foundation because I am having some kind of acne scars going on so I really wanted some full coverage but I'll be sure to use this like in a lighter kind of thing like a simpler makeup with less coverage just to demonstrate that as well but um, I'll do that when my skin gets a little better because right now it's kind of eh. But today I filmed this look and it's kind of smoky with that pop in the middle to make your eyes really, really pop. And it has some kind of maroon browns going on with a nude lip. So if you want to see this full face tutorial, then go ahead and keep watching. Okay guys, so first I'm starting off by priming my face as always with my neutralizing primer. Then filling in those pores with my professional. Now taking my um, green concealer mixed with my Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer, I'm going to go ahead and mix those and then I'm going to apply them to any redness or acne scars that I do have. Now I'm taking my Kat Von D foundation and I'm going to mix it with my Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. So I take not even a penny size of Kat Von D and then I'll go ahead and shake up my Cover Drops and apply four little small drops as you see here. I did apply too much drops and not enough Kat Von D so my foundation ended up being too light but as you can see right here it really really thins out that Kat Von D and I love it as you can see right here and it just makes a wonderful um, full coverage but thin foundation. Now right here I was just showing you how gross and nasty this me messy thing gets but I'm just taking some of those drops and covering up any spots that didn't get covered up with that foundation. Now taking my Urban Decay Naked Skin um, Concealer, I've been loving this lately. I'm just highlighting under my eyes and the center of my face with this. And I'm blending this all in with my Beauty Blender, of course. Then taking the two lightest shades from my contour kit, I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes with this. And first I like to kind of remove any lines I do have there and set it right away. To set my face and make it a little bit darker, I'm taking my Fit Me, Fit Me powder and just setting the rest of my face. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my brows with my Brow Wiz. I will have my eyebrow routine linked down below if you do want to see an in-depth video of it. But right here I'm just putting a little bit of lines. Basically, I don't really like to fill them in that much. And then I'm just setting that all in place with a clear brow gel. And eyebrows are done. Now I'm just erasing any foundation I do have on my lips. And it's time for your eyes. So I'm priming everything with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. <coughs> then taking a skin tone eyeshadow, I'm just setting that in place. Then taking Peach Smoothie and Creme Brulee, I'm mixing those two and I'm going to use this as my transition shade. So into the crease and above it, kind of everywhere. Now taking Burlesque, which is this maroon shade from Makeup Geek, I'm placing it in the outer corner and dragging it through the crease into the inner corner. And what you basically want to do is just avoid getting it in the center of your lid. It's kind of hard if you do use a fluffy brush like I am. Then I'm just taking a fluffy brush and blending out any harsh lines or edges. 
Then I'm just repeating the process. You're going to want to keep doing this until you get the intensity or color payoff that you want. Then I'm taking Coco Bear and I just wanted to warm up the look a little bit so I'm placing that above burlesque and just blending it out and making it a little bit more warm. And I also placed Shima Shima in the center of my lid which is a shimmery shade but that clip got deleted for some reason. But anyways then I'm taking a black just to deepen up the outer corners a bit. You just want to put a teensy weensy bit of this stuff just a little bit to make it a little bit darker. And and then you just want to blend that ish out until it's faded. Just thought I should tell you that. <laughs> Anyways, taking my tattoo liner, I'm just doing a usually winged eyeliner. My eyeliner kind of sucked this day, but what are you going to do? Then tight lining my eyes with a black eyeliner, and I'm also going to place this in my waterline kind of messily as well. Then I'm just curling my lashes, and then I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara. Then taking burlesque again, and I'm just placing this on with an angled brush and placing it on my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing with Coco Bear once again. Then taking a black matte eyeshadow, I'm just setting the eyeliner and also smudging it onto my lower lashes. Now for lashes, I'm using my Wispies from Ardell, and I'm just going to badly apply these on camera. <laughs> then applying some mascara to both lashes. Then for highlight, I'm using Shimmer Shimmer in my inner corner. Then I'm going to go ahead and take Ice Queen from Makeup Geek and highlight my brow bone. And these are your finished eyes. Now for the face, I'm taking my two contour shades from my contour palette. I will have my contour routine listed down below as well. And I'm just contouring my face and I do a lot of contour and bronzer for this look because my face was wider than my body. So like I said, I really needed to warm up my face, so I'm taking my Chocolate Soleil bronzer as well, and it's really warm, and I like to warm up my face with this, so I'm basically putting this everywhere. Then I'm taking that yellow shade from my contour kit and I'm just sharpening up anything that got a little too blended. Then taking the blush Luminoso by Milani, which I'm so excited to use. This was my first time using it and as you can see right here, I did not know it was going to be that pigmented. It kind of freaked me out, but I'm placing that on the tops of my cheekbones or the tops of my cheeks. Then I'm blending that out with a stippling brush because it was really pigmented. Then taking Becca's Moonstone highlight, as always, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the tops of my cheekbones and also the center of my face, which is my nose and Cupid's bow. Now to lock that all in place, I'm taking my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and just setting my face. Now for lips, I'm going to go ahead and line them with my Jordana Lip Liner in Rock and Rose. Ok, 
Okay guys, now that we got burned up, I'm gonna take Cream Cup by MAC and place this all over my lips. And your lips are done. Now it's time to do something with this ugly hair. But first, you gotta dance. <laughs> and this is your finished look, guys. I hope that y'all enjoyed this kind of get ready with me and also the demo of the cover FX drops. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And until next time, guys, bye!